Uh, timed that pretty good. Had the camera rolling while the two brain damaged kids jumped in the pool. That water had to be really cold. Okay, right, now we'll go down the nature trail. Which I means, I think that means we're going to have signs. Okay. Parsnip, cow parsnip, member of the carrot family. Grow six feet tall. These flowers get eight inches across. Young leaves are delicious in salad or cooked. But as they age, the taste becomes too strong. The roots are said to taste like rutabagas. Stems can be peeled, eaten raw, but are best cooked. Great care should be taken when, and find, as it resembles a poisonous water hemlock. Well, that would be a reason not to even mess with it. It's a, some kind of a purple flower. Not a flower, but a plant. A little closer look. If I stay a little longer, I notice in my close ups that go too fast and you can't really see. I remember to hold it for five seconds. Wondering if this one comes out where I had lunch. I bet it does. Looks like it's going around that way. Kind of following the creek. But it's good to have an easy easy path or easy trail to walk for us old parts that have crippled. I think that's Indian paintbrush. I might be wrong. I call these asters, but they may be some, called something else. I think I've seen them called both. Here's some more of this fireweed. This one's pretty much depleted. And then find a better one. Some more of that aster. If I get a flower wrong, don't shoot me. We'll look it up. Google it. What's that purple flower found all over the Rocky Mountains? I call it a Rocky Mountain Master. I haven't seen any more signs.
Okay, so 10 point breakfast, 8 point lunch, 18 points. I've got 30 more to go so I can have a decent supper someplace. As long as I don't start nibbling on snacks or something. sign black cottonwood yeah big one the trees over here in this area and I've seen it in Washington Idaho Montana this whole area over here this seems like the trees are bigger than the ones in Colorado and the uh, signs I was reading yesterday was that it has something to do with uh, the moisture off the Pacific. It gets blocked by the Rocky Mountains, can't get over. So these trees get more moisture here, I think, as a rule. Like you, you walk through here, you wouldn't know where this place is in a drought. But it is, it's in drought. And that's why there's a fire going over here. Just down the road. Well, I came over here today in case that fire keeps spreading and moves, if it moves this direction, I'll probably have this area closed tomorrow. This is a thin leaf alder. And yes, this is where I had lunch. Right up here, settle that log. Cheryl and I have a good time here in the woods. Back to the parking lot.